Hi guys, it's me Danielle Danny Buttons and I'm here today for my part one of my birthday haul. In theory, I am pre-filming this. Today is my birthday, November 4th. If you're seeing it on the day it's uploaded, it's my birthday, yay, and I'm so excited. And I'm really excited to show you part one of this haul because these are all gifts I've gotten from friends I've made in the coloring community and it's kind of really super awesome, so. I'm very excited to be sharing this with you and I'm just gonna get into it. The first thing's actually the only thing not from somebody. So I'm gonna show you that first. Well, it's from somebody, but it's just from Sam, who is my husband. He just switched jobs recently. You've probably heard about it because I won't shut up about it. But before he left his old job, they had this weird point system where you could like earn points at work and then redeem them for things. So obviously when he knew he was leaving, he had to just get rid of all his points because there's no, the new job won't have them, blah, blah, blah. So he actually found this and he picked this himself. Like he didn't know that I would want it, but he just won it and picked this. And so it's a nice little town book, but what's really unique and confusing about it is it does not seem to be Amazon printed. Or if it is, it's nothing like my other book I have by her. First, it has the black backgrounds, but they're bordered. I don't know if it's easy to tell on screen that there's a border around them. And this is incredibly smooth paper and just feels very, very different than my other book by her. So I thought that was really cool. And it's like almost grayscaled. Are they normally like that? I don't know. I only have Nice Little Town Christmas from her. And it's on my not favorite Amazon paper and I got it like a year or two ago when I didn't know what to do with Amazon paper. So we're gonna give this one a try and that's exciting. Okay, now everything else is gifts from people and it's amazing. So I'm gonna talk about it and then I'm gonna gush at the end about how like I almost cry every time I get a package and things like that, you'll see. So this first one, it was not actually a birthday gift but I'm showing you them in the order I received them so as not to like somehow show favorites unintentionally. This was from Toll. I hope, I'm so scared to say your name. Yep, yep, there it is, There, there's Toll. I asked her how to say it, so hopefully that's right because again, I just would be real sad if people said my name wrong, so I don't wanna say your name wrong. Also, I keep hitting the monopod, Toll. All right, so I got this in the mail and it was a complete surprise and this was like the beginning of the month maybe, maybe even the end of September but it was like, hey, buddy color with me. And I was like, that is very effective. Yes. And um, it's been like at least 20 days and we are still not finished with our buddy color. So that's a sneak peek. Secretly, I'm hoping I did finish this and it's in my finished pages from October, which I'll link up above because in theory, this is like a week after that. But this is super cute. It is by Coloring Book Cafe. And it is my first Coloring Book Cafe book, Animal Town. And it's just like animals being cute. And it reminds me of those little calico critters, which I never had any, but I always try to make Sam buy me now. But I don't have anything to do with them. They're just really, really cute. So that's that. And again, this is my first book by them. So they have all these little thingy bobs in the beginning. So that is that book. So... Yes. Next book is from Ashley, who now I'm realizing I didn't write down her Instagram name, but I'm pretty sure it's Ashley's World in Color. Yes, Ashley's World in Color. She doesn't have a YouTube yet, but she's planning on it. So if she has one by the time this goes out, I will link it. But if not, I will link her Instagram. I'll, obviously, I'm going to link everybody everywhere. She weirdly purchased me this Grand Classics. This is the Spanish edition. That's why it's in Spanish, but it's the French Hachihiro books. But I say weirdly because she tried to buy it off my wish list and it was saying it wouldn't send to me. So she's like, hey, I'm gonna PayPal you and you're gonna buy it yourself. And I was like, okay, so I did that. So it's from her. And I don't know if I needed to tell that story, but I just thought it was very funny and unique. But this is one of the pixel books and we actually buddy colored this page in it. This was another book that was like, if I buy this for you, you have to buddy color it. And I was like, okay, I'll do it. So that's apparently a very efficient way to get me to buddy color. But let me try to show you the answers. No, it just starts on this page. These are the kind of answers in here. So it's all about the, the classics and it's super, super cute. 
and I'm excited to have another one of these in my collection. I think I'm up to four of them now. I have two Spanish versions and two French versions. All four different books, but you know. All right. So thank you so much for that. I'm so excited. Next is two books from Jamie, who is Jamie's Coloring Love here and on Instagram. You've heard me talk about her before. I always talk about her. So the first one is Color Some Cuteness Teddy Bears by Black River Art. And it is a grayscale book. And I've never had a book by them before. But like, are you kidding? These are so cute. I love teddy bears. And I love these bears. And I've actually never done grayscale like this. So I've I've started a page that I'm going to attempt to do, but I haven't gotten very far. So again, maybe by the time you see my wrap up from four days ago, this will be in it. But if not, this is a, a work in progress. And it's just, it's so cute. And they're all different. And it's so cute. So I've heard of Black River Art and I've like seen a lot of their books, especially of people, but I, it's so cute. It, I love it. So that is from Jamie. And then Jamie also sent me this one, which is World Within Worlds. And this is obviously by Kirby Rosanis. This is super popular. Everyone has seen this and, and loved this. And I hesitated getting it because I really like one of them. Which one? The third one. Mythomorphia. And I, so I own Mythomorphia and I got Anamorphia and I don't really like it. And that might be the only two I have. But I really like Mythomorphia. Then I skipped like Fanto and Geo and whatever else came out. And I saw this and I was like, ooh, I kind of really like that one too. So she got it for me. Also, hold on. <gasps> I was just about to give you a tip on what to do with the tags to remember who sent you things. But it's not in here. So I didn't listen to my own tip. So I'll, I'll let you know in the next book. But look how cool. Again, I'm sure everyone has seen this. I really want to work in this too. So hopefully very soon. Oh, this is also kind of an announcement. We're still very at the beginning of Buddy Colorathon. Hopefully my last video, I'll link that too, was my first week of Buddy Colorathon. If you see any books that I'm hauling today and you want a Buddy Color in them, please let me know because I really am going to try to make it a goal to color in any book I receive by the end of this year because I need to show people how much I appreciate them by actually using what they give me. That just makes sense to me. So those two were from Jamie. I'm so excited. So thank you very much, Jamie. Again, I'm going to do a, a lot of thanking at the end too, because I just am bad with flow. So we'll see how this goes. The next two books were another surprise. And this one I can show you. So this is from my buddy Audrey, who does a lot of the Disney co buddy coloring with me, which is, um, she has a bunch of the grand classic tombs, whatever. And so we do a lot of buddy coloring over on those. And I, it's just a lot of fun. I really enjoy doing those with her. She has come up with such cool ways for how we pick pages. So like we'll pick a movie or we'll pick, I've done the villain and she's done the sidekick or like she'll do the princess, I'll do the prince. We just have a lot of fun picking pages and that's, I don't know, it's awesome. So she sent me two books and that was a complete surprise. So this is Christmas Color by Number by George Tufek, Tufexis. I knew I would have to say that too when I was really worried, but here we are, I stumbled over it. And I've never had a George Tufexis book, but they seem super popular and obviously I love Color by Number, so I'm really excited. First of all, this is a thick boy. There are a lot of pages and like a lot of, what are you? Creative Haven books, they have like the answers in the front and the back, which is nice. Well, let's see if I can show you. So that's like an example of all of them. But what's also not nice about their books is that's the only color key right here. So I don't know if I'm gonna copy it or if I'm just gonna label a set of pencils or pens or whatever I use, but I'm so excited to get into these because again, starting tomorrow in your timeline is my Christmas season. November 5th, I am ready for Christmas. I'm gonna switch it into Christmas mode, but right now it's still October 26th, so I'm stuck in Halloween for a little bit longer. But 
That leads me to this perfect book, 50 Autumn Miniatures by Camelia Angelkova. This was one of the ones that I really wanted and was really hard for me not to just buy for myself when I was in this book ban. But I managed to be good. And also by the time you're seeing this, my book ban is over. So there's a potential that I'm gonna have three hauls this month. We'll see how I do because I know that Sam bought me some stuff and like friends and family in real life. So that's gonna be round two. And then I might have a haul of things I buy for myself. So keep an eye out for those types of stuff. But 50 autumn miniatures. This is my first of her autumn miniature books and it's so cute. It's just a little bowl of fruit. I love it. A fox. I'm super excited. Hopefully, let's see if my hand will magically flip to the snail page. There is a snail page that I am desperate to do because it is, oh my, look at how cute that is. I can't handle it. I love this page a lot. I'm hoping to get a few pages done in here before I transition to winter because even though it's Christmas now, it's not winter yet. It's a whole thing. But thank you so much, Audrey, for those two books. I have a stack next to, my whole area is going crazy. Like desk, everything like that. Next up, I have two books from another new friend, Elizabeth, who is Elizabeth, no, her, I'm gonna link her down below because I forget what her Instagram name is, but her name is Elizabeth. And I'm sure a lot of you have been hearing from her because I see her commenting everywhere now and she's super awesome. So we have been chatting over there and when she found out it was my birthday coming, she sent me two books. Number one is Intricate Patterns by Jade Summer. I'm excited and intimidated by this book. This might be the kind of thing that doesn't really get finished pages and just has forever whips because it seems like it'll just be so calming to be like, all right, let's pick green and then just do a whole bunch of green. You know what I mean? So I love these types of books for that, but there's some patterns in here that I'm like, oh yeah, I need to color that soon. Cause I love, like, oof. I think I like the geometric stuff a whole lot. I don't know, but I'm excited for all these intricate patterns. So. There's that one. And then she also, this is a funny story for me, but she also very kindly sent me Mystery Lines by Kira Scherzneva, hopefully. This is a one color coloring book. And I have wanted to try these like dots, lines, spiral books. I have the Spiroglyphics official animals one. And I know it's really popular to get all of like the TV show ones, but I don't think any of them are properly licensed. So I personally have been avoiding purchasing them because it's just kind of a gray zone for me. So uh, when I saw that this lady, Kira, came out with one, um, I wishlisted it right away because I'm hoping that this is her own artwork. So... I'm laughing though, because I did one page in here. I just did the first page. This doesn't have any like uh, key to see what the pages are gonna be. So you're definitely going in blind. So I was like, I'll just do the first page. All right, let's see if you can tell what it is. It's a bird. <laughs> I felt like I got tricked because that is definitely like a pigeon or a dove or something. And I was just laughing so hard because I, I was about this far and I had no idea and I assumed it was this way. And it like looks like a fortune cookie. But then I was like, oh, this is a bird. <laughs> so I just thought that was really funny. And I did this page with a super tip, a Crayola super tip. I'm not sure what medium I'm gonna like best for this. I think I'm gonna probably just try different things out because it definitely worked. This is definitely a bird. <laughs> So I just thought that was really funny, but I'm excited to keep going in here. I even still have my tester page in here. That is how recently I, I finished in this timeline, but it has lines going in all different directions, but they're all like some squiggly ones and straight lines and all different directions of lines. Maybe I should have known because there are vertical lines that it was gonna be this way, but I didn't, but maybe I will now. So I'm super excited to have this one and to do more lines. This is another one that it's really easy to just have this on your desk and do a few lines at a time. Sometimes like at the end of the night, if I'm not wanting to start a whole new page, I'll just add a few lines to here. So that works really well. And this is another, all these one color books are really great if you need to like go to an appointment or something and you have to wait your turn because you just bring one pen and the book. Or I like a lot of the times 
if I visit like my cousins during the day with the dog to stop her from barking and I just need something to do while they're busy, this is what I bring. So thank you so much, Elizabeth. I was super excited for what you picked. Next is three non-coloring book things from my girl Jenny from Rainy Day Coloring, who, <laughs> she's so funny. So I'm just gonna show you and I'm shaking. I'm super excited and I haven't opened these yet and I really, really want to, so I'm probably going to later tonight. But she first purchased me these glitter markers by two hands. Jamie actually told me about these and said that she really liked them, but they're glitter markers. Let's see if I can open them a little bit. And they're basically like the same style as Posca, as in you have to prime them and get the paint to flow. And then it's all super glittery. And I'm really hoping that it's super, super glittery. And I'm excited. And they're like, fine tip. Am I a booty guru? No, I'm not. Can you see that? Mm. So I'm excited to try these. I don't know. I was debating doing one of the line, one one of the one color books with these, but I don't want to waste them. I might just use them as accents. So we will see. Or maybe a mandala. Just to try as many colors as I can. I'm super excited. There are 12 in there. I can hear noodles running down the hallway. Okay, she was just being weird. Then she got me two things that I'm probably going to use for my glue booking that I'm also super excited for. I'm gonna save this one for a second. The first thing I actually should already have a flip through on my channel. It is extraordinary things to cut out and collage. Over 1,500 images. Again, I should have already flipped it and I will link it up above. I had to flip it right away because I've already started cutting this. But basically, it is page after page after page of a whole bunches of images that you can cut up and use to make collages. And then in the beginning, they actually give you some tips and tricks on how to collage, which is awesome. And then at the end, they actually give you some bases to work on. So I just think this is an awesome beginner's guide, which I really want to get into this type of collage too. But I also know I will 100% be using these images in my glue booking in the style that I already do it in. And I actually love the process of cutting things and fussy cutting. So I did one page in here so far. Let's see if we can find its neighbor. I did a flower page. And I just wanna, I did the page right before here. You can see that I cut it out. So it was about this number of flowers. It took me like over two hours, but I absolutely loved it. Cause I just like put a video on and I just snipped away and I had a great time. And I don't know if you can tell, but there's like a faint gray border around all of them, which I think is nice because you can, it's easy to get, to cut that border instead of cutting every single tiny detail, but it's not too in your face. Some of these images are the same as the antiquarian sticker book. So, but the difference is I'm gonna have these out of the book soon. So I think I'll be using them for different things. Also the antiquarian tries to look nice on its own. So each page has a different color background and this, they're all gray, which I appreciate because sometimes you'll be doing a whole page and then you don't want these crazy thick orange borders. But all that to say, I'm so excited to cut this up. And honestly, even if I never use the images, the process of cutting is just gonna be such a great time for me that that's what I'm gonna do. Ooh, I actually have them right here. I don't know why I didn't think of this. So I have a little bucket. So these are all the flowers I cut out. Also, I told her that I'm going to cut out the birds and send them back to her. So I might do that and put some birds in her Christmas card. So if anyone else wants some birds in their Christmas card, let me know because I am looking <laughs> for a way to get rid of them. Hold on, let me show you how ridiculous. One page, two page, three page, four pages of bird heads. No, thank you. This one scares me the most. This page I don't hate that much. No, I hate it a lot. I just like this flamingo, but everybody else scares me. I almost like that toucan. No, it's too much. I do not like it. It scares me. He's got fruit. Ugh. Okay, but that is that. I'm so excited and I might cut more of these later. I might just do like a page a day and see ooh, where that gets me. And then finally from Jenny, <laughs> I don't know if she knows what she was buying this for, but I'm so excited. So she bought me the Christmas picture puzzles 
And basically, I have been watching a lot of this awesome lady named Nicole from Nicole Relax Cut Glue, who I will link her channel up above or down below or somewhere. And she does a lot of different types of glue booking. I mostly do the one type so far, but she pointed out that this picture puzzle is a great place to get images from because they're nice square images. And there's usually two to six images that are the same, like there's four. So this is kind of a dual purpose book for me. I love doing these Spot the Difference books. I used to like, I would get books like this, but then I would also like on Yahoo Games before Yahoo Games kind of disappeared, I would play this game all day and all night. And my dad too would play this game a whole lot. My phone just made a noise, so I'm gonna have to investigate that in a minute. But we are gonna try to power through this, I think. Hopefully nothing gets messed up. But anyway, so I'm really, really excited for this book to one, do the puzzle, and then to cut it up and use it in my Christmas glue book. But how cool are so many of these images? Like, isn't this so cute? And obviously there are some differences, but it's nothing like bad. So it's not like this one doesn't have a head. It's just the colors are different or there's different amounts of dots and things like that. So I'm really excited to use this in both of those ways. And again, I love Christmas and Christmas season is starting and I'm so ready. Finally, I have another gift from Toll who tricked me because she didn't put her name on it. So I was freaking out because I was like, who is this from? Does somebody want to be secret? And then I didn't know, but it was just like these cute little messages with no names on them. And I was like, what do I do? What do I do? How do I thank somebody if I don't know who it is? But luckily we, we figured it out. We got it sorted. But she sent me three more things, which was crazy, including, let's see what order. I'll do this one first. Stone Mosaics. This is the brand new Belba book that I feel like I just added to my wish list like yesterday. So I don't understand how she had time to find and, and purchase this. I don't know if it was like a, an act of fate that the day I added it, she was shopping or what, but this is their new style book that I'm really excited for because it's basically a dot book, but color by number. So instead of everything being the same color, it's a whole bunch of different colors. So I'll just show you the back. There is also no key in here. So besides these pictures, I'm not going to know what's going on, but I'm really excited to try this out because again, I've just found this dot style really relaxing and I just think this is a fun new thing to do and I love how they're coming out with these series and I also am really hoping that Christmas books come out soon from them maybe there's already one by the time this is up so we will see I'm hoping for a pixel book that's holidays then I'm pretty sure I also just added this book this is a Joanna Johanna Basford world of flowers and I'm wondering I didn't scroll back far enough but was I talking to you about this book? You let me know. Because I haven't had a Joanna Basford book in a long time. The last one I had, I have her Christmas book that I bought from like Book Outlet. I only had the Christmas one and then I had Magical Jungle? No, I might have had Jungle and the Water one. I don't know. Point is, I got rid of all of my Joanna books besides Christmas. And I haven't bought one since, but this one, I kept seeing awesome stuff. Also, is this a, another seek book? Because that's a, that's a penguin. I keep seeing awesome work from here. And I also like, there's, where is it? This picture alone made me really want this book, which might be really silly, but it's the truth. So I don't know. Um, there's just some really cool things in here and it's a lot less leafy than usual. And I know a lot of people lot like her leaves, but it's less leafy than usual. And I like the pages like this too, where you can kind of treat them like four separate things. I think that's exciting. So there's a lot of cute stuff. Jamie just did this one. So there's all that. I'm excited to give Johanna another try. Is this a poster? Yes, it is a big old poster. Interesting. So there is that book. And finally, a bonus. This was actually not on my wish list, but she made an assumption and she was correct. There's a turtle on this. So I kind of need it, right? That's like the rules when your favorite animal is on the cover that you need it. Makes sense to me. But this is Sea Circles by Tabitha L. Barnett, which 
actually I think came out in like 2017, but I hadn't seen it until just recently. And I didn't wishlist it yet because I was like, mm, is it too summery to wishlist right now? I don't know. I'm weird with my wishlist. We've all known this too. But there are a bunch of turtles in here, which means I think it's super adorable. And about 15, I think, of them are also with black backgrounds. So you could pick. This page calls to me, and I have no idea why. It's a very strange page. But there's a lot of cute sea critters in here. And I love sea critters. They're some of my favorite critters. So I am very excited to have been given this bonus cute, cute book. So there is that one. So we are at the end. I just wanted to blanket thank everyone. It's so amazing and like, I think it's so cool that I was able to get these books and not like, oh no, yay, I have free things. But in the sense that like, I feel like I've done something right and that I'm actually making friends and hopefully making enjoyable content and being friendly. I don't even know what I'm trying to say because I'm gonna get emotional, but I think it's really cool that like people wanted to send me things. Like, I, who knew? So I want to thank everyone again. And I really, every day I was like, oh, something has come for me. And I get very excited and I like get near tears. But um, thank you to all these lovely ladies. And I guess to Sam for using his points at work on me. But um, I'm hopefully looking forward to doing a lot of buddy colors this month with you guys and with anybody else who wants to buddy color with me. And to, to using each and every one of these amazing gifts as soon as possible. And... Yeah, I can't believe it. Just... <sighs> I'm always see. This is why I worry that I sound insincere because I like try to cover the emotions with humor, and then it comes off insincere. But really, if you could see me, I'm I'm very I'm very sincere. I'm very thankful. I'm so happy. And yeah, it feels weird to just go into my normal outro, but hopefully, hopefully right now. Well, right now it should be lunchtime, but at dinner time tonight, I will hopefully be eating a Cheesecake Factory vanilla bean cheesecake slice for the first time in months. We're ordering pickup, do not fear, but that is my birthday plans and hopefully a trip to the bookstore now that my book ban is over. And thank you guys so, so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't, if for nothing else, two more hauls coming up this month and hopefully for, for Buddy color -a -thon. And um, thank you so much. I will talk to you guys in two days with something new. Bye.